Memphis police say property thefts, especially people breaking into or stealing cars, is the biggest battle they are facing right now. They're trying to crack down, but the bad guys always seem to stay one step ahead. Tonight, Brittany Moncrief shows us just one example of how these car thefts are happening in the most unlikely of ways. Routines can change in the oddest of ways. As of right now, I ride the bus every morning and afternoon to work. Life goes on. And Pamela Wooten is choosing to move on with it. I had a medical appointment, a 3.30 medical appointment on Wednesday of last week. I got on the interstate at I-40 in Madison, started having car trouble, and I got off on the side. Car wouldn't crank, couldn't get it started. So Pamela called for a tow. When she learned it was on its way, she continued to her appointment. It was over 100 degrees on Wednesday, so it was quite hot. I had called a co-worker to come and uh, pick me up. By the time she'd finished... I called my mechanic to see if the car had made it there, and he said no. Pamela called the towing company. They did not see a car. The following day, still no car. That's when Pamela reported it stolen. I called Highway Patrol also. Now there's a camera somewhere, somebody saw something. The um, officer there tracked it and he said that they went straight down Austin P Highway into Lauderdale County with my car. More than an hour away. And it was at a recycling, American Recycling Company. And it had, was getting ready to be smashed and, you know, jumped. In less than an hour, Pamela's car went from being broken to stolen to a chop shop ready to be crushed. I still don't believe it. I, I, I still visualize my car on, on a tow. I was told that it's been happening a lot in the city. Tennessee Highway Patrol said they did not have data on these types of incidents, but said many crimes are committed based on opportunity. Number one, I wish I would have stayed with my car. Probably would have had a heat stroke, but I would have had a car. Crime is rapid. It's life. You kick your shoes up and you keep on walking. Moving on, as life would have her to do. In the medical district, I'm Brittany Moncrees. Wow. Well, Pamela says she's been told the guy who stole her car is locked up in Lauderdale County. As for her car, it's still at the chop shop. She's working with the company and her insurance to figure out how to get her car back.